Welcome to Sid's Motive. Today we're counting down the top 10 inventions and developments of the Islamic Golden Age that changed the world. At number 10 we have the Astrolabe, an ancient astronomical instrument used to measure the altitude of stars and planets and to determine the time of day and night. It was during the Islamic Golden Age that the Astrolabe was further developed and widely used. The first Muslim astronomer to write about the astrolabe was a Persian scholar, Al Khwarizmi, who lived in the 9th century. The astrolabe soon became an essential tool for Muslim astronomers and it was used to make accurate astronomical observations and to calculate prayer times. Throughout history, the astrolabe played a vital role in the development of astronomy and navigation. It was used by astronomers such as Galileo during the Renaissance and it was used by sailors and navigators to determine their position at sea. Coming in at number 9, we have Algebra. Developed by the Persian mathematician Al-Khwarizmi in the 9th century, Algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with solving equations using variables and symbols. Algebra has had a profound impact on modern technology, from creating efficient algorithms to advancing the field of cryptography. Without the mathematical foundation laid by Al-Khwarizmi and other scholars of the Islamic Golden Age, our modern technological world would look vastly different. At number 8, we have surgical instruments. Many surgical instruments that we use today were invented during the Islamic Golden Age. Persian physician Abul Qasis and Iraqi physician Al-Zahrawi were among the first to develop surgical instruments during this era. Abul Qasis developed a variety of surgical instruments including probes, needles and retractors, while Al-Zahrawi invented a whopping 200 surgical instruments including scalpels, forceps and bone saws. Their work had a significant impact on the development of medicine and surgery and remains an important part of our modern healthcare system. At number 7, we have the Marinus Compass, also known as the Qibla Compass, developed by Muslim astronomers and navigators in the 9th or 10th century. The compass revolutionized navigation and allowed sailors to determine their direction and location at sea, making long-distance voyages much safer and more accurate. The compass had a significant impact on the development of trade and exploration, and it remains an essential tool for modern navigation, including aviation and space travel. At number 6, we have coffee. Yes, coffee. Although coffee was first discovered in Ethiopia, it was during the Islamic Golden Age that it was widely cultivated and popularized. Muslim scholars and mystics recognized the stimulating effects of coffee, and coffee houses became popular meeting places for intellectuals, poets, and artists. Coffee had a significant impact on the development of social culture and industry, and it remains an important part of our modern world. At number 5, we have the Camera Obscura, invented by the Muslim scientist and mathematician Ibn al-Haytham in 9th century. The Camera Obscura was an optical device that projected an image of the surroundings onto a surface. It was used to study optics and light and it had significant impact on the development of Renaissance art. At number 4 we have soap. Soap has been an essential household item for centuries but did you know that the first soap as we know it today was invented during the Islamic Golden Age? While ancient Babylonians used a soap-like material as far back as 2000 BC, it was in the Middle East where the first soap with a pleasant smell was manufactured. Zakaria al-Razi, a Persian chemist and physician, described several recipes for soap making in detail. This new form of soap became popular throughout the Islamic world and beyond, eventually spreading to Europe during the Crusades. Today, soap making remains a vital industry with different scents and textures available to suit everyone's preference. At number 3, we have the windmills. While the earliest windmills were developed in ancient Persia, it was during the Islamic Golden Age that windmills truly took off. These machines were used for a wide range of purposes from grinding grain to pumping water and powering machines. Thanks to the advancement made during the Islamic Golden Age, windmills became an important invention that helped power entire industries. So next time you're driving through the countryside and see a windmill, remember its humble beginnings in the Islamic world. At number two are universities. When you think of universities, you may immediately think of places like Oxford and Harvard. But did you know that the world's first university was actually founded during the Islamic Golden Age? 
In 895, Fatima bint Muhammad al fihraya al Quraysha founded the University of al Qarawin in Fez, Morocco. The university was initially established as a mosque, but it quickly evolved to include lectures on various subjects including theology, law, mathematics and languages. The university became a center for knowledge and learning and it attracted scholars from around the Islamic world. The University of al Qarawin remains open to this day and is considered one of the oldest continuously operating universities in the world. Its establishment marks a significant milestone in the history of education and paved the way for the establishment of universities in Europe during the Middle Ages. And at number one, we have the Elephant Clock, created by al Jazari in the 13th century. This clock is considered one of the most innovative timekeeping devices in history, as it not only told the time, but it also incorporated various mechanical components such as a water fountain and a mechanical band. The elephant clock had a significant impact on the development of clock making, and it paved the way for future advancements in timekeeping technology. So there you have it friends, the top 10 inventions and developments from the Islamic golden age that have changed our world. Which one do you think was more influential? Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below.